Alright farmers, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be having a look at sugar beet. So first things first, if you're playing with the seasonal crop calendar on, we'll take a look there. So we've got the sugar beet, it's going to be sown in March and April, and then it's going to be harvested in October and November. Now if you're not playing with the seasonal calendar on, you're going to get seven months worth of grow time at your sugar beet. So obviously you're playing how you want to play i've got seasons turned on so that's what we're going to be going with so we're in march now and we're going to get planting so first up we've got our field so it's been fully prepped so it's been mulched plowed fertilized limed fertilized again cultivated and then the stones removed so once you've got the full prep out of the way you need to go get yourself a planter Okay, so the options for planters, if we go into the shop menu and into planters, it's going to be anyone that's got the sugar beet icon on it. So that's the second from the right uh, in the icon section. So any one of those that's got that icon on, you can use to plant sugar beet. So I'm using this John Deere 1775 NT. I just prefer it. I think it's the best one out of the planters for me. So that's what I've gone for. Now, you're going to need to fill it with seed so if you're going down the shop the best most cost effective way of getting your seed is the big bags so that's 800 per thousand liters now you can go down the road of the multi-fruit buying silo but if you're going down the shop menu this is the best option for you so once you've got that filled up you're going to need to unfold it so that's l b and a and that'll go through the whole animation of putting everything out and getting yourself ready this one's quite large so it does take a bit of time so once it's done you want to make sure you got it set on sugar beet so if you do L, B and Y it's currently set on corn so we'll just cycle through till we get to sugar beet like that so once that's set you lower it down L, B and B and then you'll turn it on with L, B and X and then just drive into the field we're now planting sugar beet so you need to go over the whole field and once that's done I'll see you at the end right so once you've got your field planted you're going to want to go over it with a roller so if we go back into the shop menu and we go into rollers so any one of these you can use to roll your field I'm going to go with this Dalbo power roll 1230 HD I just find it the easiest with the second largest working with it just works for me so that's one i've gone for obviously you pick whichever one you want to go for so then as with the planter you need to l b and a to unfold it that's going to put out the sides and it'll be ready for you to get cracking so then what you want to do put up to the edge of the field l b and b it will lower it down and you don't need to turn this on so once it's lowered you're ready to go so all you do is just drive through the field so you see the change in texture there so what I'm going to do is go over the whole field make sure it's all covered and I'll see you at the end right so that's the field rolled now because we've done all the prep to start with there's not a lot we need to do to this field now till it's ready to harvest now if you have got weeds turned on you're going to want to keep an eye on those during the growth stages because it's going to affect the yield that you get off the end so if they're at the first growth stage you can use a weeder to get rid of them if they're past the first growth stage you're going to need to use some herbicide spray to get rid so i've got those turned off because i don't particularly like them so what i'm going to do now is fast forward and we'll see a bit of growth right so we're in october it says there on the bottom right hand corner growth remove foliage so i'm going to go jump in the harvester and we'll get cracking right so at the side of the field so what we need to do first is remove the tops and then harvest so the options you've got for that if we go into the shop menu and into tools and then beat technology you're going to want to use if you're using the tractor setup the grime ft 300 on the front that will take off the tops and then the grime rooster no rotster 604 to harvest the beets out the ground 
so that's the option if you're using your tractor now if you're using the self-propelled version in beat technology there you can use any of these and it will get the crops out the ground any of these three now this mouse on the end the mouse 5 it's used for in real life what they do is harvest the sugar beet off the field they then dump it at the side of the field and then they'll use something like the mouse and it's got the bits on the front that will then open up and it will scoop it all up and then put it out the back into a trailer now I'm not going to use that because why use one of these and then dump it onto the ground when you could just dump it into a trailer seems a bit of a, a waste of time for me but that's your options anyway and obviously if you are going down the south propelled route the Roper Panther 2 and the Roper Tiger 6S you're going to need to get yourself a header either the RR6 x 45 or the RRXL 9 by 45 depending on which one you've gone for so I've gone for this Grime Rexor 6300 Platinum because it comes with the header already attached on it. So that's what we're going for. So first off, you're going to want to unfold it. So L, B and A. That will unfold all the different sections. That will get it ready for you to start harvesting. So once that's done, do L, B and X to turn it on. L, B and B to lower it and then off we go now the advantage of using one of these rather than the tractor setup is if you've got crop destruction turned on the front section will take the tops off and then the back section will harvest the crop out of the ground but the tractor is running over it so you're going to have some crop destruction so using the self propelled one because it takes the tops off the front and harvests at the same time is going to be your safest option for you so that's a top little tip for you so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get this field done and I'll see you at the end right, so that's the sugar beet harvested so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to load it into a trailer and we'll see what we can do with it right, first up is storage now the usual standard base game silos don't take sugar beet so what you're going to want to do is get yourself one of these silos from Missy B you can then load it into there so we pull over the icon like so you get the prompt R, B and Y and we'll load it in so you'll find these in the construction menu under buildings and silos and we're going to scroll along to get to one of these three that say multi fruit on them so they take the root crops so just like they did in the potato video they'll do sugar beet as well so that's the storage what can you actually do with the crop? Let's go have a look. Alright, so first things first, obviously you can sell it as a crop. So if we go into the prices menu, got sugar beet there, the best price is 415 per thousand litres at Goldcrest Valley. Now you're going to need a train for that, so go check out my other video, because that's obviously a little bit different than normal. So what I'm, where I am now is that feeding grain south has given us 377 per thousand litres. So all you need to do is drive over the grating where you've got that blue icon. And once you get to the right spot, it will give you the prompt like so. R, B and Y. And then it will load into that little hopper and you'll sell your crop. So that's your first option. I'll meet you back at the farm for the next option. Right, so your second option is going to be to feed it to your pigs. So if you go into the construction menu, under animals and under pigs, so you'll see the icon there for sugar beet on the pasture, the pigsty and the pigsty large. So they all take the sugar beet. So just the same as the cell point, if you go up to the blue icon there, you'll get the prompt, R, B and Y, and then you'll unload the food into your pigsty ready for your pigs so if we go into the animal menu now it'll show you there in the root crop section we dumped 1600 litres so that's going to be five percent of what you need to feed your pigs so obviously get them ratios as best you can to what it says there and you'll get the best out of your pigs now the third option 
is going to be a production chain. Now on Elm Creek, where we are right now, there is no sugar mill. So what you're going to have to do is go into the production menu again, into the construction menu, sorry, along to productions, and then down to factories, and scroll along and get yourself a sugar mill. You're going to need to place it on some land that you own, like so. Then we'll go over, as with the pigs and the cell point, to that unloading area. We'll load it in there like that, RB and Y. And then you can use that to make sugar. So that's taking it one step further. So the price that you get for your sugar beet is going to be obviously a certain price. And then if you put it through the sugar mill, you're going to get a better price for it. But obviously you have got to own it. Now there is one other thing for the sugar beets. So I'll go get some stuff for it and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, what you can also do is get chopped sugar beet. So if we go into the prices menu there, the chopped sugar beet is a little bit more better price than the standard sugar beet that you get. Obviously you can't sell it at the same places as you can with the normal sugar beet. But you can sell it at the animal dealer and you can also put it into the biogas plant. So if you own that on the map, you can then get digestate out of it. And obviously you can also put it through the sugar mill and get sugar out at the end, the same as the sugar beet. So how you do that, you're going to need a few more pieces of equipment. So first things first, you're going to need a tractor with a front loader attachment. You're going to need this specific bucket. And for easiness of use, you're going to need this auger. This is how I found the best way to get it done. So you'll find these in the shop menu. So the bucket itself is under the front loader tools. It's this here, the Flegel Ruby 2000. And that's going to chop your sugar beet up for you. And also, and under the belt system, I've gone for this Meridian TL1239. So first things first, you're going to want to make sure that this is on. So you can come up to the side of it, enter vehicle, and make sure that the engine is on. So that needs to be running. So then you're going to want to get into your beet harvester. You're going to want to put the pipe out, like so. Maybe line up a little bit better. Right, so that's now loading into that bucket. So you're gonna to wanna to get into your tractor there. Turn on the front loader tool. And that's gonna chop the sugar beet up. So once you've got everything running like that, it's gonna unload from your beet harvester into the bucket. That's then gonna chop it up, put it into that auger. That's then gonna load it into the trailer. So that's your option for sugar beet. And that, is your options for everything where sugar beet is concerned so drop it in the comments below are you going to harvest it and sell it off are you going to put it in your pigs over there are you going to put it through the sugar mill are you going to turn it into sugar beet cot obviously there's lots of options with the sugar beet if you haven't already hit the subscribe button it's much appreciated but for me that's it for today and i'll see you in the next one